Welcome to HGH.TV, your premier source for all your hormone replacement needs. We specialize in doctor monitor human growth hormone, testosterone, Samorolin, and HCG diet therapies with pharmaceuticals prescribed with USA pharmacies by board certified physicians. A safe and responsible choice in regaining youth and vitality back in your life with hormone replacement therapy. Up next, we have some helpful information and tips for your hormone replacement therapy. Here in front of me, you have everything you need to start your HGH therapy program. We're going to discuss human growth hormone and how to prepare it for injection. We'll go over how to safely and effectively get the most out of your hormone replacement therapy with HGH. Starting from my right, we have needle pins, mixing tube, combination needle syringe, the powder filled vial, bacteria static water, insulin syringe, and alcohol swab. Your insulin syringes typically offered from USA pharmacies and suppliers may look like this and usually come in packs of 10. You will need plenty of these as part of your program. Remember to use each syringe only once and of course avoid withdrawing any other HRT medications after or at the same time. For disposal, your clinic may include a sharps container. Now let's talk about getting started. Here you have a typical 10 ml vial that can hold the medication in its powder form. When you first receive it, the substance will appear usually as either a solid tablet form that settles at the bottom or as a loose powder. You'll notice there is no label on this vial. We've opted not to advertise any particular brand of hormones today or any specific pharmacy for that matter. Here we have what's called bacteria static water. This will arrive in different forms and different size vials as mixing water will be required for most of the products. There are some brands, however, that come in preloaded pens and do not require the same type of mixing process, but today we're focused on products that arrive in powdered form and require mixing. In many cases, your needle and syringe will arrive in one convenient kit, such as this. This is a 3ml disposable syringe. Each vial should come with its own kit. Again, you'll notice the size of this needle syringe kit is 3ml. They'll also come in 5 and 10 ml packages. Here we save the syringe tube package separately without the needle pin attached. You have the 18 gauge 1 inch needle that screws easily on the tube. Or you can use the 20 gauge 1 inch needle to attach to the mixing syringe. Any of these gauge needles will do the job. So again you may receive an 18 gauge one inch needle pin separately depending on the preference of the clinic or pharmacy. Each needle package usually opens easily by peeling apart a corner. Always make sure the packaging is undamaged. Here you have the needle encased in its protective cover. We'll throw away the packaging. Again this is not for injecting but for mixing purposes only. Once we have this out and ready we'll set this down and pick up the syringe mixing tube and open that. Here we have the mixing syringe tube. Again, they are easy to open. Make sure they come out of an undamaged package. We'll throw out this and you'll see that this particular syringe has a screw on cap. From here, simply unscrew the cap. It should screw on quickly and easily like so. Now you have a complete needle syringe mixing kit fully assembled and ready for use. Let's ready the vial with the powder and the water needed to do the mixing. So next we're going to withdraw some water from the vial and mix it in the powdered vial. For this demonstration we'll use this amount of water just as an example. Unscrew the needle and pull off the cover. We've already removed the covering of this water vial. It arrived sealed and will require you to flip off or pick out its cap cover. You'll notice the rubber insert opening, which is always sealed. Make sure this is the case when you receive it. Be sure to always keep everything sanitary 
and wipe clean the rubber top. For this, use alcohol swabs that either comes with your supplies or you may run out and get them for future use. So stock up on those. Now let's insert the needle syringe in the water vial. And we're going to carefully withdraw the water with both hands. Again, check with your clinic on exact amounts of water needed for your specific product and protocol. We're going to carefully withdraw some of the water. You can always overdraw, then push back some water to get an exact amount. Pull the needle out. You'll notice again this happens to be an 18 gauge needle, which means the shaft of the needle is wider and thicker than any needle you'll actually inject yourself with. This size needle is preferred to mix with because it allows water to go in and out quickly. Feel free to replace the needle cover when kept handy. Just screw it lightly back on in case during this process you're interrupted for whatever reason you can place it back on your clean work surface. And when you're ready to begin, just pick up where you last left off. So take off the cap, grab the vial of the product to mix the water. As you can see there is no product in this vial, this is just for demonstration purposes. At the bottom will appear a white solid tablet, form or a loose powder. We want to insert it more at an angle rather than straight in. The molecules in this medication are sensitive to heat but also to vibration, so our goal is to have the jet stream of water from the syringe hit the bottle on the inside at an angle where it can slide down and mix with the powder rather than shoot directly into it. Try to do it slowly. Sometimes the vacuum in the vial will automatically suck the water from the syringe without even applying pressure. Now if you happen to notice that the water shooting directly into the powder, that's perfectly okay. There's no need for concern. Just make sure that the mixture did not turn cloudy and you should be fine. As long as it's clear liquid, you are all set. So let's take out the needle and replace the needle cover for sanitary and safety reasons. You'll want to dispose of these safely like I mentioned before, sharps container or similar. You can unscrew the needle pin if you like also and throw it out. We just successfully mixed the bacteriostatic water with the HGH powder. Later we'll discuss subcutaneous injecting for HGH with an insulin syringe. HGH is typically done 5 days a week by taking between 1 to 2 IUs each day. This syringe holds 10 IUs or 1 ml of liquid. It's marked in measurements of 10 units and goes up to 100 units. It all might get somewhat confusing. We'll go over all this and much more next time. We hope you enjoyed our segment. For more information, contact one of our representatives here at hgh.tv. And remember, this instructional video is not intended to replace the advice and direction of your current healthcare provider. This video presentation is about health issues, but it is not medical advice. If you're seeking specific medical advice or assistance, you should contact your personal physician. Also, the material discussed in this presentation is not intended to present the only or necessarily the best method and procedure, but rather presents the opinion of our experts. You can look forward to more informative videos right here on HGH.TV, your hormone replacement specialist. Glad you can join us. We look forward to having you back here real soon. Bye for now.